A lot of what is published is incorrect. That's the assertion from the editor in chief of the Lancet, Dr. Richard Horton. He and others are referring to medical journals and scientific studies and the reliability of the results. After participating in a symposium in the UK, in his perspective, Dr. Horton writes, quote, "The case against science is straightforward. Much of the scientific literature, perhaps half, may simply be untrue." Afflicted by studies with small sample sizes, tiny effects, invalid exploratory analysis, and flagrant conflicts of interest, as one participant puts it. Poor methods get results. The information is chilling, but not so surprising here at AXA. They're not all unreliable, but they're they're very often unreliable. Uh, they're uh, based upon uh, agendas, and uh, the the data are crafted to fit the original the author's original uh, program, rather than having the uh, the conclusions flow from the from the uh, uh, experimental results. They are manipulated and, and distorted in such a way to suit uh, the author's preconceived notions very commonly. Uh, and uh, both academic uh, researchers and institutions and journals all share responsibility for this, uh, basically what amounts to scientific malfeasance and deception. And it's impossible for the, uh, even for scientists, to determine what's valid research, much less for uh, news media or the public. And this is very, very disturbing, obviously, because it means that our whole, uh, the whole medical, pharmaceutical, scientific uh, edifice is constructed on, on a, a foundation of, of sand rather than uh, steel or concrete. The answers to help improve this uh, deplorable situation are not clear. It basically requires uh, some improvement in, uh, in the character of scientific researchers and the character of journals, uh, the uh, responsibility of editors to more thoroughly parse and vet the data that they're being presented with by researchers rather than simply trusting what the researchers say. Now that the, the problem has been exposed to some extent and the the emperor, the publications uh, in many journals, the emperor has, has few, if any, clothes. Uh, now perhaps we can uh, wend our way towards uh, clothing the emperor and uh, bringing some more scientific rigor to the process of peer review and journal publication, which is the foundation of our scientific progress. To read more on the topic, you can head to our website, aksha.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox.